All right. So we're waiting for Nikki for the stream. And we're doing a live Q&A on stock market investing um, for our YouTube channel. And if you have questions on stock investing, um, please put it in the comment below. Uh, if you haven't subscribed yet, please subscribe to the YouTube channel. And we're going to uh, do this on a regular basis, uh, Q&A with Nikki. Uh, my name is Anton Diaz, founder of our awesome planet. So we're waiting for Nikki to join in this live stream. No. I'm just hi hi. Yeah, can you hear me? Oh, okay, no. No. Sa room ko to eh. Uh, oh, kumusta man internet? Um, better na yung internet. So wala wala ka ng background noise kasi sa room lang to eh. I'm not in the office. Sandali lang ah.
Tapos, yun eh ako. Ay, ito. Wala ka lang light. No. Ha? Paano Kailangan yun? ko buksan yung ilaw? Sinarado ko yung ilaw? Buksan ko ilaw? Try mo nga. Try mo nga may light. Ma- ma- madilim? Mali yung ilay ko. Teka lang ha. Sige, wait. Yan. May ilaw. Madilim pa rin. Mali yung kilo. Parang pareho lang yung lighting. Nasa likod mo yung light, no? Mm, yeah. Or pag ganyan. Pag ganyan. Uh, mas madilim. Mas madilim? Hmm. Yeah. Sige, pati mo lang yung light siguro. Parang mas maganda pa yung kanina. Pati mo ko. Nang walang light. Mas maganda pa yung Pag ganito, buksan ko yung... Pag ganyan. May ilaw. Marte yata pag may ilin. Maling ko na lang. Good naman, Nikki, ha? Chinese yung mga. Chinese yung Chinese. Sobrang Chinese. Oh. Mali yung kilay ko, eh. Tanggalin ko yung sa'yo. O nga. Okay lang. Masyado yung Chinese. <laughs> Teka lang. Chinese yung naman, eh. Hindi ba masyadong ano? Parang yung kilay. Hindi ako marunong mag-drawing ng kilay ko, eh. Hindi ata pantay. <laughs> Hindi pantay yung kilay. Oh well. Pwede ko naman i-wash. Wala talaga akong kilay eh. Tanggalin ko na lang kaya. Tanggalin ko na lang. Sadali lang ah. May ibang ilaw ka? Wala rin talaga akong kilay eh. Ayan, wala nang kilay. Drinawingan ko lang eh. Ah, uh, wait. Sige. Uh, tingnan ko kung anong mangyayari pag nag-share screen ako. Sagutin ko yung mga keywords mo, no? Teka, yung keyword.
Hello. Hello. Raining, Mohan. Hello. Hi. Hello. 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 Hindi, wala na. Pag nawawala ako sa screen kasi, itong StreamYard, hindi mo maririnig yung audio ko. So, i-on mo lang yung private chat. Uh, para... I can only do your private chat. Okay, sige. I'm pag, reading pag your wala, private chat. Okay. Uh... Yeah, pag ganito, I can't hear you. I can only hear myself. Can you see, uh, let me try kung may plinay ako na tingnan nga natin if I play something kung maririnig. Let's say, mag-YouTube ako. Uh, ano yun? Ano ba i-play ko dapat? Sige, ano ba ang i-play? Hmm. Ano Naka-chrome ka, di ba? Naka-chrome ka. Yeah, naka-chrome ako. Google Chrome. Oh, so, so uh, sa StreamYard, um, ilalagay mo yung video dun sa Google Chrome na tab. Tapos yung Google Chrome na tab yung isi-share Example ito. Naririnig ba to? Kuna ito. Get by together. Share mo nga. Rinig? Hindi. Naririnig mo dahil ano. Pero i-share mo. Try mo i-share. Ha? Share mo yung video. Naka... Naka ano? Individual ba? YouTube ano siya. Share mo nga yung... Uh, share mo yung... So, okay. i-play mo yung YouTube sa ano, sa Chrome tab. Gawa ka na. Ko uh, share mo. Tapos Bagong may share. Bagong Chrome tab? Uh, Oo. Uh, tapos share Chrome tab. So, ito yon, Ito yung Chrome tab. Pupunta ako sa kanina share screen. screen. Share screen. Oh, wait lang ah. Doon sa share screen. Uh, okay, wait lang. So, share screen. Tapos, Chrome tab. Mm-hmm. Check mo yung share audio. Uh, oh, YouTube. Share audio. Ay. Sharing this tab to StreamYard. Ito, kunwari, yan. Narinig. Naririnig? Pati yung salita nila? Oo, oh, 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 naririnig. Naririnig? La- uh, laksan mo nga. Laksan mo. Oh. Yan yung pinaka malakas na. Okay yan. How is it? Okay. Kaya. So, so ibig sabihin, pwede tayo mag-watch ng videos tapos magkukwento ko. Pwede. Sige nga, okay. let's say, ipuplay ko yung YouTube na, ano ah, magpiplay ako ng Jollibee clip. Teka lang ah. Sandali. Um, sandali. Kasi may Jollibee clip na 40 years na isip ko pwede i-share yun. Pago hmm. ko ikwento yung stock. may Jollibee studio sila. Apat na dekada. Kasi I'll talk about um, steady discipline, di ba? Mm-hmm. Not overnight success. So maganda yung four decades na song. And... Nawawala ka lang.
Ah, hindi, ano, yung video. Pa na? Share mo, share mo. share ko ah. Teka. Wait lang. Dalawang chrome. Nasaan yung isang chrome ko? Ah, wait lang, wait. So, share screen. Chrome tab. So. Play ko lang muna. So, example. 
Hi guys, we've heard that your most requested company that you want to know about is Jollibee. So before we begin, let's first listen to this 3 minute 59 seconds to know what has happened between uh, 1960 to, oh wait, sorry, ulitin ko, pero, well, anyway, magsalta ko ng something spill, tapos. Hindi, uh, hindi okay na, diretso na tayo, uh, ikaw na, uh, basta diretso na, okay. Okay, 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 sige, I'll try to, ano, um, Hi guys, we've heard that you are interested with Jollibee stock. Before we begin with the stock analysis, let's first listen to 3 minutes and 59 seconds about the four decades that Jollibee has been uh, blessing the Philippines and the entire world. Let's listen together. Okay, guys. Wow. 
Wait lang. Anong, ano mo? Anong speed ng internet mo? Saka wifi ka ba? Sa room? Oh. Wi-Fi to, pero I don't know kung gano'ng kabilis eh. Um, uh, yeah, I played that song first. Tapos yan, I'll discuss yan, Jolly yan, Music again. Yan, para sa intro na po. Kung anong speed lang ng internet. Ha? I, punta ka sa browser. Hindi ko alam eh. Ito, fast.com. Lagi mo yung fast.com. Fast.com? Uh, fast.com. Anong speed? Anong speed mo? Um, so far, nakikita ko pa lang 270 kbps. Ah, kaya. Mabagal talaga eh. Mabagal. Ano, ano ba kayo dyan? PLDT? Oo. Pero baka sa room ko mabagal. I can leave, I can go to the office today. Sige na, try nga. you want me to go there? Para baka mas mabilis. Sige, sige. I will transfer. Sandali lang ako. Okay, wait lang. Hintay. Hi, so for those uh, watching this stream, uh, so this is like a behind the scenes <laughs> live stream. Uh, we're shooting with uh, Nikki Yu on... Uh, basics of uh, stock investing. So uh, we'll be talking about actually Jollibee or just fixing her um, her connection uh, so that uh, we can clean this properly. Uh, I'll, I'll transfer. Okay. 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 I will wait. <clears throat> And uh, those who are watching this, uh, if you have any comments or you just want to say anything, uh, post it in the comments and should be able to see you. Next. Oh, nga, pero uh, manonood, eh. <laughs> But also, I'm trying to, um, how long is the live stream kung stable and we have to ah, okay. figure out okay. okay. you can okay. do okay. Sorry, sorry. Um, Ito lang ako. Mabagal sa kwarto. Yung wifi. Sa gitna. Saan mabilis? Sa sofa. Sa ano? Sa game area. Ah, okay. Sige, sige, sige. Wait lang. Okay. Teka lang ah. Okay. Okay. Kumuha din ako ng tubig. So, so, this is the first time we're doing this uh, Q&A. So, hopefully, we can do this uh, weekly on a regular basis because we want to uh, generate content that uh, for really for beginners. Uh, I started uh, learning about stock investing. And, I don't know. Pero, December lang, December tayo nagsimula, di ba? So, uh, I guess, uh, regularly you have to learn uh, a lot about this thing. So, we're learning from Nikki, obviously. And, uh... Alam mo, alam mo lang kung hindi mo lang ginagawa ko, Nikki. Nagali lang. Ah, sige. So, ayan. Bakit, Dr. Mag, mabagal lang. 35? Okay. I-uli din mo. <clears throat> yeah, in-uli ko. So yung uh, fast.com is sa uh, Netflix. Ano yan? Netflix. Uh. Ah, for Netflix yun. Uh, speed test ng Netflix. Okay. Ito ang bagay. Bakit nakita ko 20 kbps? Yeah. 20 lang. Lele. Baka mali ito. Pulitin ko. Or i-connect ko lang. Restart ko. I-off ko lang ah. Ah, sige. Sige. Okay.
Sige, mag-reconnected. 1.3 Mbps. So, ito mabilis na. Oh, at least better. Oh, sige, I'll get lang at share. Okay, I'm not going to go. Go, go, go. Hi, and uh, if you're watching, just let us know uh, if you have questions. And if you want to introduce yourselves, uh, let us know also. So, uh, Nikki is broadcasting, I think, in Binondo, and we're here in Laguna. Um, and so we're trying to uh, shoot our sessions using live stream and Okay, um, okay. Uh, so, Let me try a lot of things uh, uh, So stream yard I'm gonna try to share my screen type yung dito lang para hindi ko kailangan lumipat to the chrome tab Let uh, me just check uh, Okay, so let's say ito lang yung share ko so, example, I'm gonna, let's say I'm gonna try to present, wait, uh, okay. example lang, kasi ito yung book, so, still working on ito, hindi ko lang kung may ano ito, ito lang, validity investor solution. So, kung ito, sa example lang, saka, iniisip ko kasi. So, parang, yung bakit, why stock? Why do we want? So, for the beginning, so, parang example, ito. How do I make the see the goal? Wait, ah, uh, imagine ko lang. Distance. Distance. Pag ganito, sobrang liit. Nakikita mo? Maliit? Maliit? Sorry, dapat page width. Masyado maliit. Uh oh, hindi makita eh. Pwede mo bang i-page with? Uh, Pwede ko ito i-page fill. Sandali. Uh, pa paano kung ganito na lang? Mm, fill? Ganito na lang? Yan, yan. yan. Okay. Ganito na lang? Pwede. Uh -oh. Yes, sige. Naisip ko kasi, when you ask yung parang Philippine stocks, mga beginners, gano'n, naisip ko, even beginners, one way to really and uh, one way to encourage them for stocks is begin ko ng introduction lecture on ano long term wealth. Okay. So, parang feel ko um, that's the reason why we're making the YouTube, why we why we want them to watch the shows. So okay. parang yung team ko parin will will become globally investing in ten yes. So yes. parang rehash. Teka buksan ko. Ano, teka. Pag ganito, mas better kahit di ako mag-headphones. Hindi ako naka-headset. Oo, oh, okay na. Okay. Better ganyan? Oo, oh, okay Nag na. Nag-inig mo yung aircon? Binuksan ko aircon ngayon eh. Hindi. Hindi. Hindi naman? Okay, sige, sige. Alright. Sige. Um, teka. Magbubukas ako ng mga investors relations. Tandali lang. Niisip ko... Uh, kung ilipat ko to, sandali ah. Nakadalawang tab ako eh. Ah, sandali. I-play mo nga yan, kung maririnig ko. Ito, ito, yung ang sarap, example. Uh, uh, yan nga, play mo nga yan. 
play ko. Yan ang problema lang dito, hindi yata yung audio marunong. Ito. Meron, meron. Meron. Okay, okay. Naririnig ba? Oh, okay. Full screen mo. Naririnig mo? Yes, uh, pero i-full screen mo. Ha? Full screen? Ah, i-full screen ko. Teka. Mm-hmm. Ayan lang, yung sa baba. Ito. Better? Okay. 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 So I can talk, naririnig mo ako, pero naririnig mo yung audio. Pareha. Uh, pareha, sabay ako. Okay, sige. Okay, sige. Okay. Uh, anong gusto mong unahin natin? <clears throat> uh, sige, Jollibee. Kasi... Jollibee na lang. Jollibee eh. Teka lang ah. Ipleplay ko yung ano, yung 40 years. Kasi mas maganda yung 40 years na ano eh, na ano, na song. Tsaka kasi mas, mas ano, wait lang ha. Mas swak yung apat na dekada eh. Kailan ba yun? Kailan nila sinood yung ano? 2018 kasi nag-40 years sila eh. Wow. Uh, teka, kukunin ko lahat ng mga Jollibee na sinulat ko. Even yes. dun sa vlog. Para ma-redirect ko sila lahat. Sandali. mag i deep dive ko tong si Jollibee. Kaso ikaw na lang mag-chop kung kailangan mo i-chop. Teka lang. 1, 2, 3, 4. Teka, teka. Uh, teka, teka. Lagay natin dito. Uh, type ko na lang ba lahat? New tab. Tayo. Sige, teka, teka. Pa-copy ko na lang. Ito si... Sanali lang ah. Para lang nakabukas na lahat ng tab. Para hindi ko nabubuksan. Okay. Wait lang. Close ko tong mga to. To Instagram. Para lang may chart ko agad. Oo nga, okay. Okay. para complete. Tsaka yung, ano, yung file na, ano, yung awesome 10x. Teka. So, walang trabaho dyan, no? Pag ganito. Saturday? Wala, wala. Okay, sir. Sakto, nagsulat talaga ako on Jollibee. Kaya... O, diba marami may sinulat ka on Jollibee? Yeah, yeah. Kaya nga kukunin ko yung, ano, yung article. Uh, I think I wrote about it noong mga last month. Kukunin ko lang yung article. Ito, ito, ito. Yan. Oh. Ano na ba ang Jollibee ngayon? 140? 136. Nag-149 siya, tapos bumalik. That's okay bumalik. lang? Okay lang. Sige, sige. Oo, uh, okay lang naman. It's fine, it's fine. Long term naman pag-usapan natin. So, okay? Okay. Um, sige, so I'll start. Okay. Sige. Uh, hi guys! Uh, this is Nikki Yu, also known as Spaces Trader and your most requested company is Jollibee. So I wanted to highlight all the things that happened for Jollibee in the last 42 years. So let's first listen 
together this 3 minute 59 seconds, apat na dekada or four decades with English subtitles by Gary V and Sarah Geronimo. Okay guys, I'm gonna make full screen. Pakinggan natin. Apat na dekada. Kung gusto niyong makikanta, go ahead. Okay, so uh, after listening to that song, ang palaging chorus is sa apat na dekada tayo ay magkakasama. So totoo nga ang tayo ba ay magkakasama? Let's discuss 40 years of Jollibee, hopefully in just 14 minutes. Kaya ko bang i-explain? Tingnan natin. So um, I wrote about Jollibee's journey from a local uh, domination, actually from a humble beginner uh, from a magnolia store to a local giant and then a global giant. So I will give you some things to go to. Um, number one, you can go to this article to look back. But every Filipino 
is very proud of Jollibee. And Jollibee has really taken the world by storm. Uh, it opened these stores last 2018 in its 40th anniversary. London's first store opened September 26, 2018 at Earl's Court. You can see the DTI Philippines post pa dyan. Sila Trade Secretary Ramon Lopez. They're having their first Chicken Joy and Yum Burger in London. And then, of course, nag-open yan sa uh, European branch, the first in Milan. In fact, ang haba ng pila, in fact, it looks like a concert, di ba? With a population of 100,000 in Europe, nagbukas sa, ano, sa Milan. Of course, the Midland Italy, kahit na sikat sila sa pasta nila, si Jollibee nag-attempt to go there with their very sweet style spaghetti. Uh, some of the customers admitted that this was their very first time to enjoy Jollibee in years. So some of them even went as far as Austria to go there para lang matikman ang Jollibee Chicken Joy. You could see all the long lines of Jollibee's first UK store in London. Uh, of course, everybody knows that Jollibee brings back the life, the home, the love, the spirit. The Philippines is already here in Manhattan. I feel at home. That is someone who was a patron who said it in Jollibee's US Facebook page named Jenny Arellano. Of course, si Jollibee, pinatibok niya lahat ng puso. Ma, ma, ngayon, uh, incoming tomorrow, Mother's Day special. You could see that si Kwentong Jollibee has been raved all over the world. Uh, you can watch this sa mga Jollibee studios, like the one I told you kanina, itong songs na to. Magaling si Jollibee magpasaya, hindi lang ng Pilipino, pero ng buong mundo. So, uh, hindi na natin papanoorin every show, pero uh, si yakang-yaka ni Jollibee. Uh, Jollibee is very well known when it comes to making everyone, uh, everyone's emotions really be heartfelt in the culture of joy and happiness and love. So, in the last uh, two years, like uh, 2018, Jollibee, uh, happen to aspire to become a global giant. They actually invested continuously foreign brands with Smash Burger, Tim Ho Wan, Tortas, Panda Express. It was a total of 9.6 billion pesos. 2018 marked Jollibee's 40th year as a company, 25 years as a publicly listed one. So that means they listed 1993. We'll discuss the stock later because I know that you're here to ask about Jollibee stock. But Jollibee has always pursued uh, to be the best. They are actually pursuing to be the number five, top five QSR. When you say QSR, quick service restaurant in the whole world, not just in just um, Asia or just Philippines, but in the whole world. So Jollibee has acquired Smash Burger last April, 45%. Additional 15% in December 2018, increasing their footprint in the U.S. with system wild sales uh, growing from 5% to 15%. Now, the proportion because of these 9.6 billion peso acquisitions of 2018 has made foreign system wide sales increase from the present 20% to 30%. Jollibee is present in the Philippines, China. Vietnam, Singapore, Hong Kong, Brunei, and the Middle East. In a few years' time, the goal of Jollibee is to have a 50-50 split between domestic to foreign sales. Of course, last uh, May 2018, we also know that Jollibee invested in Titan Dining Partners. This was a 45 million Singapore dollar partnership and owns the master franchise for Tim Ho Wan in the entire Asia-Pacific giving Jollibee a significant interest in the Tim Ho Wan franchise in the long term. Now, for those who don't know who Tim Ho Wan is, Tim Ho Wan is very famous for their dim sum, particularly their barbecue pork buns. Now, in September 2018, Jollibee also entered a partnership with Chef Rick Bayless, building a Mexican fast casual restaurant, the Tortas Frontera, to build a significant business in the Mexican food category. Uh, that is their um, Panlaban to Chipotle, handcrafted tortas, fresh made guacamole, and hand shaken margaritas. So, this is also um, a very famous restaurant in USA. 
Jollibee has even subsequently expanded, announcing to bring Panda Express re restaurants in the Philippines with a 50-50 joint venture between Jollibee and Panda Express. Panda Express is also a family business that became a global empire. They're very well endeared in United States with a $2 billion annual sales in the year 2014. This is the founders of Panda Express, Mr. Andrew and Peggy Cheng, the CEO of Panda Restaurant Group, America's largest family-owned restaurant company, famous for their orange chicken and their uh, sweet and sour pork and their um, beef broccoli and so forth. So in 2018, this is actually the highest opening of Jollibee. In terms of store count, Jollibee opened 502 stores in 2018 in its 40th year history. So Jollibee really celebrated the 40th birthday with a really, really huge celebration. Investments in the store were made. Net income climbed 17% to 8.3 billion pesos annually. System-wide sales grew 23% to about 161.2 billion pesos that year, with the Philippine business accounting for 75% of Jollibee sales, growing a healthy 15% despite rising inflation and slowing GDP growth. In fact, the same store sales growth of every Jollibee store grew 6.9% in 2018 compared to 5.3% in 2017, while all the other store networks grew by 8.7%. The foreign business grew 22% organically, and as of end 2018, Jollibee's total store network is 4,521 compared to 3,800 stores last year, Company opened 317 stores in the Philippines and 185 new stores abroad. So you could see the Jollibee is 75% domestic, 25% foreign. Now, when you go to the Investors Relationship Department of Jollibee, which is very clear, no? may kita mo yan, jollibee.com.ph slash investors. When you go to the investors, then you go to all of these things, you can watch and read the annual reports. What you'll see is that Jollibee has shown that in four decades, they were bringing joy to the world through, of course, the famous Jollibee Chicken Joy and the spaghetti, the happy, sweet style spaghetti. 40 years of bringing joy to the world, Jollibee has been 1,000 and 100 plus stores in the Philippines alone. That's 40 years from one store to 1,100. So that's a 1,000x store count in 40 years. Also, Jollibee has expanded in 2018 uh, to 200 plus stores in 16 countries with two to four new markets entered per year. So if you can count how many countries Jollibee is in, not just Philippines, now you know that there are 16 countries with more than 200 branches that you could enjoy your Jollibee. As of end 2018, Jollibee has 1,146 stores in the Philippines, 232 abroad, including four new markets, Italy, Macau, London, and Malaysia, establishing Jollibee the brand as a very strong global fast food player. Also, the Kwentong Jollibee series surpassed every last year result of over 60 million views to over 200 million views on Facebook. Um, Quentong Jollibee has set a record haul of over 50 marketing awards, including the major international recognition from Asia Pacific's EFIS, Spikes Asia, APAC Tambuli, and Quentong Jollibee being judged as the 27th most effective campaign in the world. In the world yan. So in terms of marketing, napakagaling ng Jollibee. In fact, nag-celebrate ang Jollibee with the barong and a Funko costume to celebrate that 40 years celebration. It was such a strong movement for Jollibee na, guys, 40 years na tayo sa mundo, magpasalamat tayo, i-celebrate natin tong 40 years. Of course, now it's 2020, so it's 42 years. Jollibee has really shown that its international chicken joy has been loved all over the world. 
I'll show you some interesting statistics from their annual report of 2018. It was really a phenomenal performance. Jollibee's North America registered double-digit system-wide sales growth, posting healthy same-store sales due to improved food service cleanliness and year-round communication coupled with blockbuster store openings. In Canada, Jollibee opened two more stores with a record-breaking 7,000 stores served on the opening day in Scarborough and the second one in Mississauga. Jo Jollibee also opened its very first store in Manhattan, which is just a few steps from the New York Times. This is an exciting move showing that it has an appeal to a very diverse customer base. Lines started 20 hours before the opening with queues eventually sneaking around the block. So this demonstrates the global appeal of Jollibee for not just Filipinos, but even the local Americans. Jollibee Vietnam is so well-loved with a remarkable double-digit same-store sales growth, making it the sixth consecutive year to deliver this extraordinary performance. Jollibee Vietnam opened 20 new stores, ending that year with 116, and they have a world-class food commissary in Vietnam to support up to 300 stores. This is a historic achievement, and this is the first and only quick-service restaurant with a dedicated commissary in Vietnam. Jollibee Singapore and Hong Kong continue to strengthen their foothold in their respective markets, attracting an increasing number of mainstream customers. Over 50% of the foot traffic comes from mainland Chinese, mainland Singapore, mainland Hong Kong. This shows to us that the promise of Macau opening with just a square walk from the Senado Square, this is the historic center of Macau with the St. Ruins of St. Paul, the most known attraction in Macau. That is where Jollibee is. These results also show to us that even in Middle East, they have also been very resilient. All the businesses that you could see Jollibee is present in is actually growing very strongly. So let's look at the stats. Jollibee has over 500 stores, specifically 573 stores of Chow King. They are serving over 6 million bowls of Chow Fan every month. Every month. Now, how about Greenwich? Greenwich, 280-plus stores in the Philippines, over 21 million pieces of Greenwich Pizza, Greenwich Pizza sold in a year. How about this Shopao? The Chowking Shopao is over 2 million pieces of meaty asado Shopao sold in a year, 40-plus stores in the Middle East and the USA. Chowking International is stronger than ever. This is the, uh, the most preferred casual dining restaurant for two years in a row in the Filipino Times, the largest Filipino newspaper in the region of Middle East. This is something interesting too. Do you know that Jollibee owns Yong He King? Yong He King's most famous for soy milk is sold for every 90 seconds. You heard me right. 300 plus stores in China and it is owned. 100% by Jollibee. In fact, Yong He King, the thing that you don't see here, no? The most famous is the beef toppings, their pork rice, um, uh, and uh, Yong He King is delivery friendly. So they're utilizing Alibaba for that. Now, they also have the number one market share for Mamon, Encimada, Empanada, Philippines, Red Ribbon is 450 plus stores with a uh, nationwide growing even more, 57 new stores in 2018. So that's more than 500 stores already. Red Ribbon is present as well in the USA, famous for this mango cake. Mango Supreme Cake is one of the most famous in uh, Jolly, uh, Red Ribbon USA, 100% award for food service and cleanliness. Now, Jollibee owns several brands in China. They have 40-plus stores in Hongchuangyuan, which is famous for their premium congee. They have lean pork preserved congee, uh, five-block congee, 
sauteed assorted vegetables served with pancake. These products have tremendously uh, helped the Chinese people with the taste. So talagang yan yung mga malalakas. Over 300 million bowls of congee has been sold by Hong Chuang Yen since 1992. Of course, who could not know this, the very best grilled kit chicken in the Philippines is Mang Inasal. And Mang Inasal has more than 500 stores in the Philippines. Jollibee has acquired Mang Inasal, of course, and in 2018 has continued to grow. Jollibee has a stake with Highlands Coffee. They've got 300 stores in Vietnam and in the Philippines. Two stores are open every week in Vietnam. So you could see that Jollibee is very, very strong in Vietnam. We'll go to Vietnam later on with the reasons why we like the, str the strength of Jollibee in Vietnam. Now, let's talk about Burger King. Jollibee is also the owner of Burger King in the Philippines, the master franchisor, with 100 plus stores in the Philippines, serving over a million beef patties flame grilled in a month. Um, of course, they also own Pho 24. This is 30 plus stores in Vietnam, Indonesia, and the Philippines with over 5 million bowls of Pho served every year. Now, for a Filipino, you have probably heard this a lot of times. Palagi tong sinasabi, malas yung smash burger, malas daw yung smash burger. Yes, smash burger, 340 restaurants in 9 countries. This is in USA. Uh, a lot of it is in USA. Over two and a half million triple burgers were sold. Um, of course, Jollibee also has a partnership with Dunkin' Donuts through their partnership with Jasmine Asset Holdings, the master franchisor who has plans to open a minimum of 1,459 until 2034 across China. Mga Dunkin' Donuts coffee uh, shops in China. The two firms have committed to invest up to $300 million in which Jollibee would contribute $180 million or 60% over the next 20 years, so until 2034. Dunkin' Donuts is, of course, one of the world's leading baked goods and coffee chains, serving more than 5 million customers daily worldwide. And as of 2014, Dunkin' Donuts had 11,000 123 stores operational globally. Jollibee's acquisition of rights, territorial rights of Dunkin' Donuts House in China reinforced the company's business outside the country. And in 2019, Jollibee has said that they wanted to open 500 new stores, uh, not just uh, in the Philippines, but also 250 abroad. So 250 in the Philippines and at least 250 abroad with at least 120 all in Vietnam. So makikita mo, Jollibee is very strong in Vietnam. Has Jollibee been a long-term value as a company? We said 40 years to in 2018, 25 years publicly listed. Jollibee IPO'd in 1993 at 9 pesos 60 cents. They gave cash dividends, they gave stock dividends. Jollibee in 2018 traded as high as 276, even went as high as 300 pesos per share. The company in 2018 paid 2 pesos 38 cents. 2019, they paid 2 pesos per share. Uh, as of 2020, they paid about 62 cents. I'll discuss what's happening no, on Jollibee. But you could see in the history, from 2013 to 2017, pag malaki kinikita ni Jollibee, nagbibigay siya ng malaking pera. Special cash dividend was given 2013, 2 pesos special cash dividend. But normally, nagbabayad siya pataas from 65 cents, 75 cents, umaangat yung dividends with the growth of their earnings over time. And just so you know, no, in terms of sales, Jollibee has $3 billion of uh, sales in a year. This is a far cry because Dunkin' Brands has $11 billion, Subway has $18 billion, Restaurant Brands, which owns Burger King, Popeye's Kitchen, and... Um, Tim Hortons has $30 billion. Yum Brands is $35 billion. And McDonald's has $86 billion. These are as of 2017 sales. So malayong malaya si Jollibee in terms of 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. Para maging number 5 si Jollibee, it has to be about $10 billion of sales. Now, 
in terms of the U.S. market, bakit ba binili ni Jollibee ang Smash Burger? Now, you could see that in the USA, it is a burger market and McDonald's has $33 billion or 33% of that uh, entire pie. Then the second is Wendy's restaurant brands, which is Burger King. You've got Sonic, you've got CKE, you have Jack in the Box. I think si uh, nandito pa sa others si Shake Shack. So maliit din si Shake Shack in terms of the pie. Sila in and out nandito yan sa mga others. So Jollibee is saying that they want to turn Smash Burger into a strong company, successful. But so far, we see that, in of course, what we know in the future is that di pa natin talaga masabi. But so far, 2019, 2020, we're seeing a lot of losses in the Jollibee's acquisition of Smash Burger brand. Of course, um, in terms of M&A by deal value, uh, Jollibee Foods actually bought Smash Burger in 2018. Uh, there are companies that big companies bought, Jab Holdings bought Panera Bread. Jollibee was looking to buy Panera Bread, pero masyadong mahal, kaya tinanggihan niya. Arby's bought Buffalo Wild Wings, QSR bought Popeye's Kitchen, Post Holdings bought Bob Evan Farms, Pershing Square Capital, which is a hedge fund owned by Bill Ackman, owns 10% of Chipotle Mexican Grill. Now, Jollibee has been seeking Mexican fast food chain, that's the Tortas. And then um, it's good to know that Jollibee actually managed to grow 20% in 2018, even with rising inflation. Now, updated, as of August 1, 2019, Jollibee has trained its sites in Indonesia. So you could see that Jollibee is doing an ASEAN move, no? My Vietnam, my Indonesia. And their play in Indonesia is to acquire the U.S. chain coffee bean and tea leaf because Indonesia has a very significant footprint with over 100 stores in coffee bean alone. Uh, Jollibee has four years been um, planning to bring the chicken joy in Indonesia. So they might want to bring that through the Indonesian, uh, through the coffee bean tea leaf branches. We'll see how they do that. But that is a play that Jollibee could be doing for Indonesia. Coffee Bean gives us an immediate presence in Indonesia, which we will expand our business over time. Purchase of money losing Coffee Bean from the private equity firm Advent International was its largest foreign acquisition to date. Coffee Bean has 100 outlets in Indonesia among its 1,189 branches across 27 countries. Jollibee wants to turn around Coffee Bean and make it profitable in 18 months. Of course, we know na hindi ganun kadali. So we're seeing that this 18 months time frame could extend to about 36 months. We'll see. But so far, their CEO is saying that the Jollibee CBTL marriage, the firm aims to really see their business sales go from 25% current na foreign to be as big as 50% for three to five years, kasi 27% ngayon. Uh, Jollibee wants to aspire to be a big fast food firm delving into a coffee market where Starbucks and Tim Hortons is a competitor. Coffee is a very big market and so they want to be there. Um, now, and dami natin kwenento. Uh, so far, we know na as of 2019, Jollibee's income dropped 34%. No? From 300, bumaba si Jollibee ng 225 after the acquisition of uh, CBTL and the dismal results. The acquisition was CBTL, $350 million. Smash was $100 million. Um, people assume na dire-diretso. No? We are seeing, uh, why are we discussing Jollibee? Because Indonesia has 300 million people, the Chinese people are 1.5 billion. So uh, CBTL and Dunkin' Brands, since uh, China, China franchise sila ng Dunkin' Brands, you could say that Jollibee has been trying to make a play in the coffee war. Recent earnings results from Starbucks indicate to us that there is tremendous strength in the coffee. That's why even when you look at the Starbucks uh, articles that we have, even if you go to the Starbucks annual report, you'll see na Jollibee. Jollibee is correct. The Chinese people are now learning to really become more uh, coffee drinkers when they are tea drinkers. Pero 
even Starbucks made a hyper localized menu. Kasi Starbucks in China has um uh, sesame frappuccino, aloe vera tea. So they really infuse a hyper local attack so that the Chinese people will also go there. Um, as you could see, is it logical to expand in China, Indonesia, Vietnam? Well, it's all about the GDP. China's GDP grew tenfold 20 years ago. Nobody can afford a $5 Starbucks coffee. Now, 100 million and people out of poverty could always afford a cup of coffee. So I think two countries are key. You could see that for Starbucks, they believe U.S. and China is where they should grow. And Jollibee is really attacking almost the same play. Um, and you can see na all the brands worldwide, uh, pre-COVID, uh, because later I'll discuss COVID, uh, the impact of COVID to the social distancing, to Jollibee and all these burger chains. You could see that pre-COVID, their system-wide sales were growing in normal times, nasa mga 15 to 20 percent. So really, that is a very, very strong, uh, strong sales count. Now, it's 2020. This is my most recent article, most recent article for Jollibee. We said, why Jollibee deserves a long-term buy, steadfast discipline wins over quick fixes. Steadfast discipline. Now, if you can suspend your belief about the short-term horizon, decide to invest. If I have 50,000 pesos and I want to invest in the next five years or in the next eight years, kasi naka-apat na dekada na si Jollibee. Let's say you want to enter Jollibee in the 42nd year to their 50th year. What are you uh, getting yourself into? Let's go to the chart. Baka gustong-gusto nyo na tumingin ng chart. Pakita na rin natin. Okay, so um, makikita natin that Jollibee started at 9 pesos 60 cents in the last 1993. Ilo long term ko kayo. Okay. So sa last 25 years, there have been many crises. And this was something that I discussed. No Asian financial crisis, ang presyo ni Jollibee from 1997 peak of about 20, ah, teka, ito, nasa mga, balikan natin ang, ang ano, ang luma-lumang, ano, ang lumang oras na oras pa ng 20 years ago. Punta tayo sa monthly chart. 1993 to 2020, that means it's 27 years na. Ah, sorry. Tama na, 27. Oh, tama pa naman yung math ko. So, um, nagkaroon ng stock split si Jollibee. So, makikita mo na, ang makikita mong low dito ng Jollibee is nag-start with 6 pesos 35 cents. Nag 5 times your money in 5 years. From 6 pesos, umangat siya ng 30 pesos. Nagkaroon ng crisis, the night an Asian financial crisis, Jollibee fell a 70% move. From 29 pesos, bumaba siya ng 9 pesos. It took over, um, nalagpasan niya itong 29 pesos na to after nung Asian crisis, mula sa 10 piso, umangat siya ng 300% to 30. From 10 to 30, in about uh, this was ano, 2000 to 2006, so that's seven years. Nung good times when um, Jollibee started to really grow with the market, 30 to 2003, all the way to 2018, no? so 15 years yan. Kahit na nung nagkaroon ng 2008 financial crisis, may kita mo ito, nagkaroon ng correction ang Asian financial crisis, Ah, ito, Asian financial crisis, ito naman ang global financial crisis. During the global financial crisis, Jollibee only dropped from peak to trough 46%. In fact, the low of that 2008 financial crisis was higher than the peak of 1997. In fact, ngayon din, even with the COVID crisis, 
So, tingnan natin, umangat si Jollibee all the way from 10 pesos, from 6 pesos, all the way to 300 pesos. That's 50 times your money. From there on, since 2018, bumababa siya 70% because of massive foreign investments that have not borne fruit yet. Sabihin, nagplant siya ng seed sa mga Vietnam, Indonesia, USA. Hindi, yung iba, tumutubo yung plants. Yung mga US smash burger and coffee beans, hindi pa. Hindi pa tumutubo. Nagplant ka, wala kang maani. That, uh, the perception is that Jollibee made bad acquisitions. Nag-drop ng, yung bad acquisition, nag-drop si Jollibee from 340 to 200. Nagka-COVID ka, social distancing. Jollibee fell all the way to 95 pesos. So far, in one single month, Jollibee recovered to 136 pesos. Now, if you compare the low of Jollibee ngayong COVID, which is 95 pesos, it's higher than the 2007 peak. Let's say, uh, minalas-malas ka, let's say, bumili ka sa peak ng Jollibee ng financial crisis time. Bumili ka somewhere dito sa 60 pesos. Even nag, nag, nagkabulo na yung buong mundo, Jollibee managed to have a higher low. From 60 pesos, naging 90 pesos, and fast recovery. So that tells you na, from a long-term perspective, tatlong beses lang in the life of Jollibee that it fell this much. First, during the Asian financial crisis. Pangalawa, during the global financial crisis. And pangatlo, ito ang pinakamatinding pagsubok ng Jollibee sa buong 42 years of their life. How will they handle this COVID crisis? You'll notice na yung mga chicken sad moments, yung mga supply chain, bale wala yon. A few days lang na fix nila yon. Lahat ng mga krisis sa mundo, so far, this social distancing effect and the CBTL acquisition, the Smash Burger acquisition, is the biggest uh, drop for Jollibee over its last 27 years life in the public markets. Okay. Now that you know the history, okay, alam nyo na right now may crisis sa buong mundo, the COVID-19. The choice to invest in restaurants is not because we do not believe that they will do well in the short term. In fact, we actually think that the target upside will be sold by most traders after a resistance is found, which is 50% or 100% higher from the lows. Meaning, if Jollibee goes to 135 to 180, we know that there will be sellers from those who bought at 90 and 100 pesos. However, what compels us to discuss not just the short-term resistance but the potential long-term tra trajectory is because we believe that maybe in the next two to five years' time, you might see Jollibee surprise on the upside if Jollibee Vietnam recovers well than expected if CBTL Indonesia recovers better than expected, if social distancing man, we continue to patronize Jollibee, whether take out delivery and so forth. In fact, we also said there is victory in steadfast discipline than a quick fix. If you commit to excellence in systems, we believe that you will defeat the best trader in the world. The reason to invest will come from these things, the leader, the process, the culture, the system. Now, we know that people are questioning these acquisitions. The coffee bean tea leaf, the smash burger, these are question marks amongst investors. Now, what we do not believe on is that the data will never lie. Jollibee's success did not come overnight. It was proven through the growth of stores, the growth of cash flows, and the undeniably strong corporate and shareholder allegiance. You don't go from one Jollibee store to 1,000 Jollibee stores or 10,000 store network, 75% in the Philippines with very high sales, 20% in the last same store sales for the last 20 years. That's unimaginable. Even, even truer, uh, in the COVID-19, we said that Jollibee had an impact on their cash flows. But with strong corporate and shareholder allegiance, 
the company even paid 62 cents cash dividend despite knowing that the circumstances of COVID-19 will definitely affect their sales and their earnings. Now, they believe that this is lower than their past few years, but they declared the cash dividend in order to serve all their stockholders even in the middle of a crisis. This tells you that Jollibee never missed a dividend in the last 26, 27 years of their life, and they don't plan 2020 COVID not to pay dividends even during COVID time. What you could see here is that great companies have tangible evidence of delivering results over time, not overnight. The credibility might be questioned, but there's nothing um, impossible to, uh, to this company. In the COVID-19, of course, this is what you know, Jollibee was the first selling ready-to-cook food. You could always buy your chicken joy in the humble supermarket. Now, you have to remember Jollibee started in this very humble uh, store, Magnolia store. It was an ice cream store. Now it's the global undisputed brand well loved all over the world. In the Philippines, we always tell this to our children. Jollibee has even defeated McDonald's in the Philippines. Jollibee has repeatedly reaped praises not just from Filipinos, but Chinese, Hong Kong, Taiwan, Middle East, internationally. Now I know this is not a research report. This is just me mostly talking uh, like a love letter part in me. But what I really like about Jollibee is that they made people such as Filipinos believe that anything is possible. For you to overthrow McDonald's, which is the number one in all countries, that is a magnanimous feat. Brand X bland, Jollibee lang hapsarap. Diyan magaling si Jollibee. Marketing. May maganda siyang product at kaya niyang ikwento, kwentong Jollibee, how every Filipino will choose Jollibee. Even the children, if they ask, if you ask them, Chicken Joy or McDo, some would say Chicken Joy. That's how relevant Jollibee is in children's lives. Umala, umulan, bumagyo. Nandito ang picture sa top gear. Isang Jollibee delivery, pumupunta siya para lang mapadalhan kayo ng Chicken Joy. Undergone all kinds of crisis in the last 42 years. The pandemic will never stop Jollibee to exist no matter how long the DNA of a COVID will persist, diba? They bring home some joy. Chicken joy marinated frozen cut-ups in Robinson Supermarket. My free delivery with Food Panda. Of course, we know that Jollibee is the most mentioned company in the Philippines in terms of all Facebook, YouTube, Twitter, Instagram. Kaya nga, when you check YouTube, anong gustong pakinggan ng tao? They want to hear our views on Jollibee stock. Franchise Excellence Award, Jollibee pa rin panalo. Inclusive business. In fact, Jollibee has also partnered with a lot with a lot of farmers. Jollibee, as of 2015, uh, I think, or 2016, you can check it, Jollibee Cargill. That means that they had uh, a supply chain of chicken farms to serve you the chicken joy. Cargill has partnered with JFC for the formation of poultry processing facility in Santo Tomas, Batangas, to integrate and ensure high quality and safe products. That was in um, Chicken Joy Supplier 2018, 2017. They opened the meat plant, the Philippines' biggest uh, chicken plant all over the Philippines. Yan. So you could see na Jollibee is known worldwide. Uh, US is happy. Jollibee has been very good in their corporate social responsibility, the jollibeefoundation.org. And of course, we already showed you the YouTube video, Watch the 40 Years. And dami talaga, marami sinasabi, Jollibee ang tunay na masarap dan McDonald's. So um, we, you know, um, when I talk about Jollibee, I can only tell you na in any economic situation, nalalagpasan ni Jollibee. So from a chart perspective, um, this is what we know for Jollibee. Currently, your support is standing at about 130. So let's go to the chart, short term and long term. Para makita ninyo ang, uh, ang kabanata ni Jollibee. You could see that the 70% decline was um, bought by some bargain hunters. So at 95, 93, we saw the buyers step in. 
nung nag-announce si Jollibee ng cash dividends, ito yung 110 peso move. Uh, from 110, umangat si Jollibee in just five days to 150. We think that this is profit-taking on the part of the people who bought low. So yan, nagpa-profit-take sila. How do we know it's called profit-taking? Dahil bumabagsak ang presyo, bumababa ang volume. So it means na people are profit-taking. That is actually a bullish signal. How high can Jollibee go? How low can it also go? Sige, let's value it. In the short term, what you could see is February 20, let's go to February 20. That is the first eruption of, um, of the COVID in Italy. Na ibig sabihin, kumakalat ang COVID all throughout the world. So from 193, nangalahate si Jollibee to 90, we see resistance dito sa 155, 169, 190. In the short term, you have very strong support at 131 and mas malaking support at 114. So if you want to buy at the lowest price, you have to buy 115 to 131. Ngayon, kung sobrang hirap makabili sa 131, some people would value to buy even at 136 para lang makabili sila sa 114. Ano ang target ng tao? What, you're, what, what you want to know is, Will Vietnam recover? Will Philippines recover? Because 75% of Jollibee's sales continue to be in the Philippines. That's a huge, huge domestic sales. Um, for those who don't know, no, ano yung reason bakit nag-aggressive si Jollibee? Four, four factors why Vietnam is uh, the most growing Southeast Asian country. Tino sa Philippines ang malaki ang uh, ang malaki ang significant exposure sa Vietnam. Dalawa is Jollibee and URC. Malaking malaki ang URC sa Vietnam. Um, for those who don't know, no, isang miracle story tong Vietnam. Vietnam has grown uh, that three years, uh, three decades ago. $100 lang ang GDP per capita ng Vietnamese. Over 70% of its population lives in poverty. After that, 2000 to 2015, Vietnam has been growing 6.9% through the help of the 1986 Doi Moi capital reform, liberalization, privatization, diversification, with approximately 100 million people in Vietnam. Parang Pilipinas lang, ang daming tao dyan. Southeast Asian growth story si Vietnam. Over half of that population, 50 million under the age of 35, internet savvy, mobile adoption. Ibig sabihin, kung gusto nila kumain ng Jollibee delivery, marunong silang mag-food panda. Okay? Marunong silang mag-internet. And these people in Vietnam are actually expected to reach $12 billion or 5% of their GDP dahil matatali na tong mga to. Sila ay IT, Internet Economy, by 38% on an annualized basis since 2015. Vietnam, napakagaling ng tech talent nila. Ito ang classic na stereotype of every Southeast Asian startup. Naka-headquarters sa Singapore para maka-safety ng tax. Tinatarget ang Indonesia kasi Indonesia ang pinakamaraming uh, Asians na may consumer. 300 million in Indonesia. Designers in Thailand. BPO, customer service in the Philippines. Engineers in Vietnam. Now, this is a stereotypical version but it can show you na ASEAN play si Jollibee. Malaki ang destination ni Jollibee sa Indonesia and Vietnam. And you could see that lahat ng mga companies such as IBM, Intel, Oracle, Samsung, even Grab has really become the home for Vietnam's 30,000 IT companies because of the young, low-cost workforce. Hindi lang sikat ang Vietnam sa low-cost labor, naging very strong siya dahil sa STEM. Science, technology, engineering, and math over the last 15 years. So I would tell you na um, that is a very, very deep, uh, deep story to invest in Jollibee in the long term. 
uh, Chicken Joy is a very strong brand. And I would say that um, kung tanggalin natin yung mga smash burger and uh, kung mag-grow ng mabuti ang coffee bean in Indonesia, Jollibee can have a stronger than usual recovery. It can break 152. Maybe in the next 12 months, makaka-reach ng 180 to 190. It remains to be seen, no? Pero I know this is a long coverage, but I hope you learned something about this pride of the Philippines. Jollibee, JFC, Jollibee Foods Corporation, it's listed in the Philippine Stock Exchange. You can go to WealthSec. This is our uh, brokerage firm. Uh, you can open an account here for 10,000 pesos, or you can open an account uh, in any Philippine stock brokerage firm online. Everyone who has 10,000 pesos can definitely buy a small position or a big position in companies you believe in. Definitely, we've seen in crisis times, Jollibee has persisted in the last 40 years. And uh, I want to sign off with this tagline. The best way to help your business is to help the bottom line of a thousand of a thousand ordinary investors. With that, I wish that you all go to our website, www.awesome10x.com. My name is Nikki Yu at Faces Trader. You can go to our blog for insights such as these. Check out our webpage, check out our uh, YouTube channel, and see you again. Bye bye. Okay. All right. <clears throat> Sorry, haba. Gano'n katagal yun? Um, First term na pala. Shit. Then, 30 plus... 30 plus... Ano ko na ito? Part 1, part 2 na lang siguro. Chop, chop. Gano'n pag in-upload. Oo, part 1, part 2 na lang. 15 minute, 15 minute. Hindi ko siya ma-shortcut eh. Mahaba talaga ako magkwento. Hindi. <laughs> actually, okay naman. Uh, kasi the videos will be uh, ano eh, evergreen naman to. So, oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. it later on na lang kapag there's yeah. significant movement in the stocks, diba? So, I guess, um, yun na lang muna siguro. Ayusin natin. And then... Yung pas- beginner, mm-hmm. ang hindi ko na attack is... Um, I don't know if uh, gas gas to, pero this is something that I wanted to share. Um, uh, the reason why Awesome 10X existed was we wanted to really teach people how to globally invest in 10X trends. How do you create meaningful wealth over time? So uh, for those who don't know me, my name is Nikki Yu. I hold the CMT designation. I'm Philippine chapter chair. You can find my Spotify channel, you can find me on Twitter, my Medium account, and all the things that I teach in awesome10x.com. Um, I want to teach people because if I want to build a ship, you don't drum up the men to gather wood, divide the work, and give orders. Meaning, I'm not here to give you stock picks. I teach you to yearn for the vast and endless sea. That is actually a quote from Anton de Saint-Exupéry. De. Ano lang to ah, hindi pa ako nagsa-start. Kwento oh. lang ako. Pero parang inisip ko ganung attack tapos um the reason why I want you guys to learn about stocks, beginners, uh veterans is that ultimate re- rewards will justify your continuation, your journey no matter how hard the road rather than turn to some easier but less potentially profitable crop. Many people who enter stocks, they want to ask what can I buy? And you're probably in this YouTube video thinking that I'll give you a stock pick. But Edwards and McGee, one of the best technicians in the world, the father of technical analysis, actually said, no matter how hard the road, the rewards will justify for you to study and pursue this market. The markets will teach you to be humble or become poor. The markets will transfer the wealth from the poor, the impatient, to the patient. The markets can give and the markets can take away. To succeed in the markets, in the stock, find your edge first, work on yourself. You are the opportunity, everything else is secondary. So magkukwento ako ng long-term wealth, so magkukwento ako ng mga hundred-fold companies, yung mga secular trend winners, para ma- ma- ano sila, wow, nag-hundred times yung Mercado Libre, 
wow, nag-30 times yung mm-hmm. Shopify. Actually, nag-700 dollars pa siya. Amazon, 2,500. So, parang gusto ko pakita sa kanila yung mga pera nila na, wow, ba Kung nag-invest sila sa mga e-commerce, sa Tencent, Microsoft, Google. Grabe yung Microsoft. <laughs> so, yun. Kahit yung mga WeChat, yun. Naisip ko ganyan yung attack. Maybe mga 15 to 20 minutes, pero I think mas relevant na ikwento ko yung mga 10x opportunities. Anyway, alam nila yung companies na yan. Grab, WeChat, Amazon, 10 years time. Okay. Parang ganon. Yun yung plan of attack ko. <clears throat> Niisip ko nga, ikwento sa kanila, okay, what you learn, uh, all these things, no? Uh, hindi ko sure kung tama, ah, pero kasi ang plano ko is the how. Uh, of course, hindi ko na ikukwento to. Tuturuan ko kayo na happiness, how to be a great trader. Hindi, hindi ko naman ikukwento yan sa ano eh. Parang mga, mga ano lang yan. Uh, kung kailangan nila malaman mga 10x trends, e-commerce, Shopify, Okado, Pintuotuo, ZTO, streaming platforms, Roku, Netflix, Rubicon, eSports, NVIDIA, 5G. Hindi ko naman makukwento yan eh. Pero... Tapos mo na ba? Natapos mo na ba? Oh. Ito yung libro talaga. Okay. <laughs> Sinusulat ko yung libro. Then, Yan yung that, contents. Gusto mo, tapusin mo na lang kaya muna and then let's use the stream as a promotion for the ebook. Let's use the stream to promote the book. Oo. Parang yun na lang yung parang... Oo, uh, parang yun na yung atin natin. Oh. Parang yung, yung keyword nila, pag sinulat nila, beginner stocks. Ito yung book. Parang, this is how we want you to learn stock beginner. Parang ganyan. Oh, parang ganyan. Then, siguro ganyan na lang. Oo. Sige. Tapos, uh, let's do it. Uh, pag na-upload natin sa Amazon yung book, para, ano. Para okay. double. May affiliate, sell ka agad the book. Sell. PDF. Uh, para hindi tayo, ano. So, parang uh, the promotional video for the book. Pwede, uh, pwede. Uh, I'll finish it. Uh-oh. Sige. Okay na. Okay na siguro tayo. Oh, okay. Pwede na yan. Jollibee muna. Okay. Sige. Well, let's do the Jollibee muna and then uh, finish the yung e-book. Yung Shopee, pwede natin yung i-viral kasi alam ng Pilipino yung Shopee. Uh, i-upload ko na. na, na ah, ano, sige, sige. Baka pwede mong, baka, baka pwedeng keyword sa Shopee, stock investing, tapos global stock picks, ganon. Kaya uh, ba yun? Pwede naman. Pwede naman. So. Sige, sige. Okay. I'll try to promote Shopee, SP, no? Sige. Uh, we'll talk about mga viral companies para mas mas applicable sa mga viewers. Oo. Uh, uh, tama yun, okay. tama yun. Okay. Mag- Magtatoka sige. ba tayo ng viral? Mga Starbucks, yung mga alam nila. Nike, Lululemon. Oo, uh, yung relatable sila. Kailan mo magbubukas ng US? Disney. Ha? Hmm? Magbubukas yung US na mga store? Mag-start, yeah, mag-open, nag-open na ata Starbucks doon eh. Uh, ah, nag- kaya nag-akyat yung Starbucks. Tapos, um, yung Disney, May 11, magbubukas na yung Shanghai Disneyland. Tapos, mm-hmm. yun. I think yun yung mga malakas mag-viral si Disney eh. Uh, ah. Pwede rin natin pag-usapan yung mga earnings results kahit na hindi sila subscriber. Parang we can tell them uh, yung Etsy, yung handmade mask. I think parang magugulat sila na, wow, ganun, 7 to 70, 10 times my money yung Etsy, parang ganun. Okay. Or, or magkahanap ako ng viral, something na tingin ko easy to, ano, easy to share na magugulat sila na ganun, ganun pala, Starbucks, Disney, mga ganyang company. Sige. Actually, okay. kaya naging sikat yung mga ibang YouTube tingin ko kasi usap sila ng usap ng Tesla. Malakas yung mga YouTube na nagsa-search ng mga ganun eh. Yung mga Tesla. May list ng mga Wala, pangsak lang nila 'yon para makakuha ng mga viewers. Pero we can oh. use mga ano, we can use mga Starbucks, Disney, um, yung mga Donzi pag-usapan natin, yung mga ano. Netflix, ah, yeah. Donzi siguro. Ha? Yung Donzi nga, oo. Oh. Oh, malakas, malaka actually yung Zoom Vaya man siya eh, social network. So, marami rin talagang na, na, na-viral naman yung mga companies. Okay. Actually, yung Shopee, viral yan. Maraming may gusto ng Shopee eh. Yung Shopee. <laughs> so, so, 
I think it it will have significant viewers someday. Sige. Uh, Thank you. Okay. Bye-bye. Okay. Bye-bye. Thanks. Bye-bye. I'll send you the link. Okay. okay. Thank you. Bye-bye.